sites. Lagos State Task Force serves removal notice to Shanties built along canal setbacks. Supreme Court grants local government administration's full financial autonomy. On the 14, United States resumes sending shipments of 500-pound bombs to Israel. And in Sports Confederation of African Football reveals Nigerian's team's opponent in Champions League Confederation Cup preliminary rounds. And now the details, I am Akan Usen. The Legacy Task Force has served removal notices to squatters and illegal occupants dwelling across various canal setbacks in the state in an effort to curb incessant flooding occurrences experienced during heavy downpours in the metropolis. These notices which were served to settlers by chairman of the agency, Adetayo Akirele, were carried out at strategic locations where it has been observed that squatters have built shanties and makeshift buildings too close to the drainage system. Akili, who described the activities of the squatters as a ticking time bomb due to unpredictable climate change experienced across various parts of the world, said their actions contravene the laid down physical planning laws of at least 15 feet from the canal setback. He said the shanties across various canals at Shului, Bagada bus stop, beside Atsurashi Estate, Charlie Boy bus stop, and Bajulai Canal were all visited by the agency to notify the occupants of the intention of the state government to clear out those areas. The Lagos State Government has announced total closure of the stretch of Osborne Foreshore Estate Phase 1 to Adeniji Ramp to enable the Federal Ministry of Works lay asphalt on the section. The closure will commence from 12 midnight on Saturday 13th to 5 a.m. on Monday 15th of July. Commissioner of Transportation Uluashi Oshiemi highlighted the existing alternative routes saying motorists from Alexander and Glover are to make use of Oba Adenka Oyekon Avenue in Wad Ikui to connect Oba Lindi and Ring Road and access Third Mainland Bridge for their desired destinations. Those from Victoria Island are expected to go through Falamo roundabouts to link Awolawan Road and access Third Mainland Bridge to their desired destinations. Oshiemi noted that alternately, Motorists from Victoria Island can also utilize Zumbambadiwe Avenue to link McQuen Bridge and proceed to CMS Akwangwa Bridge in Wadi Cole Bridge to access Funcho Williams Avenue to the desired destinations. He said for the closure period, motorists on the other side of from Surah Bridge will have similar traffic flow inbound Osborne Foreshore Estate. <laughs> Chairman of the Nigerians and Diaspora Commission, Abike Dabiri Erewa, has highlighted economic instability, security concerns, and inadequate living standards as the primary drivers behind the increasing migration of Nigerians abroad. Dabiri Erewa stated this at a press conference ahead of the National Diaspora Day celebrations 2024 on July 25 in Abuja. She noted that the theme for this year's National Diaspora Day Jakba phenomena and its implications for national development reflected growing concerns over the demographic most affected by this migration. And now to the rest of the stories. The Supreme Court has declared that it is unconstitutional for state governors to hold funds allocated to local government administrations. In its lead judgment read by Justice Emmanuel Agim, the Apex Court said that the 774 local government councils in the state should manage their funds themselves. The Apex Court held that the power of the government is portioned into three arms of government, the federal, the state, and the local government. It also declared that a state government has no power to elect a caretaker committee and a local government council is only recognizable with a democratically elected government. According to the court, state governments 
are perpetuating a dangerous trend by refusing to allow democratically elected local government councils to function, instead appointing their loyalists, who can only be removed by them. It will be recalled that the Attorney General of the Federation, Latif Fagbemi, filed a lawsuit on behalf of the federal government seeking to grant full autonomy and direct funding to all 774 local government councils in the country. The House of Representatives has asked security agents in the country to respect the provisions of the nation's law regarding press freedom and stop the indiscriminate arrest of journalists. In adopting a motion of urgent public importance by lawmaker Clement Jimbo, the House resolved to consult inquiries into recent cases of arrests of journalists by security agents. While warning against the indiscriminate arrest of journalists, the lawmakers emphasized that protecting journalists' rights is crucial not only to, for upholding democracy, but also for safeguarding the principles of free speech and human rights. The House urged the Nigerian police and other law enforcement agents to cautiously and democratically rely on Section 24 of Cybercrime Act 2015 as amended and or cha charge anyone, including journalists, to court if they have violated any law of the land instead of depriving them of their constitutional right. It noted that it will pass laws to strengthen press freedom protections, as well as conduct inquiries into recent cases of journalist detention and engage in diplomatic efforts to pressure government to respect press freedom. And now to foreign news. The United States has agreed to resume shipping 500 pounds bombs to Israel while continuing to hold back supplies of powerful 2,000-pound bombs over concerns that Israeli forces will use the weapons in densely populated areas of Gaza. The U.S. in May paused one shipment of 2,000-pound and 500-pound bombs due to concerns over the impact the weapons could have if used by Israel during its ground invasion of the southern city of Rafah, where more than one million Palestinian civilians had sought shelter. According to the Project on Defense Alternatives, PDA, which conducts defense policy research and analysis, a 500-pound bomb can severely harm or kill everything or anyone within a 20-meter blast radius, while a 2,000-pound bomb has a destruction radius of 35 meters on detonation. And away from all that, now support. Nigerian champions Rangers will begin a campaign in the CAF Champions League against United States' Zilmaju of Comoros. U.S. Zilmaju will host the first leg between August 16 and 18. Rangers will entertain their opponents in the reverse fixture at the Namdiazikwe Stadium in Ugu between August 23 and 25. The country's other representative in the CAF Champions League, Remo Stars, will be up against AS Far of Morocco in the preliminary round. In the Confederation Cup, El Kanemi Warriors will face Beninois Club, Daje FC, in the preliminary round. El Kanemi will host the first leg while the reverse fixture is slated for Benin Republic. The first and second legs will be played next month. Nigeria's other representative in the competition, Aimba, will start the competition from the second preliminary round. Aimba will take on the winner of Guinea's Halif Haifa FC and Rahimo of Burkina Faso in the second preliminary round. And just before we go, always drive within the specified speed limits. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms on X, Traffic Radio 961, Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. On YouTube, subscribe and watch us live on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website on www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Sorulu administration strengthened alliance with 200 representatives from various women-focused NGOs in the state as part of efforts to alleviate the economic plight of women residents in the state? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government's website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. The Lagos State Task Force has served removal notices to squatters and illegal occupants dwelling across various canal setbacks in the state in an effort to curb the incessant flooding occurrences experienced during heavy downpours in the metropolis. The Supreme Court has declared that it is unconstitutional for state governors to hold funds allocated to local government 
administrations. We also told you that the United States has agreed to resume shipping 500-pound bombs to Israel while continuing to hold back supplies of powerful 2,000-pound bombs over concerns that Israeli forces will use the weapons in densely populated areas of Gaza. And in sports, the Confederation of African Football has released revealed opponents of teams representing Nigeria in the Champions League and the CAF Confederations Cup competitions. For contact with the newsroom, please send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. And that ends the news broadcast compiled by Adewale Oluwoporoku. I am Akan Usen. Thanks for listening and please stay safe. Good afternoon.